LC, LD, Channel 1. Go ahead. This time, uh, LC, we're going to scrub for the day. Please set up for 24-hour recycle. Roger. As we just heard, a launch has been scrubbed for today, and we are setting up for a 24-hour recycle. Joining me now is NASA Launch Manager Tim Dunn. Well, Tim, I guess things uh, you know didn't work out for us this morning. Can you explain the issue to us? Yeah, I'd be glad to, Tracy. Uh, so uh, we had a, a nominal countdown, um, but uh, toward the end of the countdown, uh, we did get a reading that uh, the C-band tracking beacon on the launch vehicle, mm -hmm. the frequency of that C-band tracking beacon was drifting from the range systems that are picking that up. Now that's a mandatory safety item okay. so that we can track the vehicle in flight. And we had a frequency drift that was occurring. And with our very limited window, we only had a 20 minute window to launch our BSP today. Well, we did not have enough time to evaluate uh, the cause and uh, certainly were if we were okay. Uh, the reason that C-band beacon is so important is in flight, we really only have a few tracking sources. Uh, we can skin track with a radar. We can track the telemetry coming back from the launch vehicle. Uh, we have optical tracking from cameras in the range, and then we have the C-band beacon. Uh, so if we were to lose one of these mandatories, we, we would uh, be down into a situation where it might not be acceptable to pass through certain times of flight, such as staging events. So uh, certainly was a situation that uh, is uh, one that uh, we would wish we didn't have, but uh, we wanted to err on the side of conservatism. Uh, tomorrow or the day after our fine days to launch, uh, we're going to stand down for the day. We've tentatively set up for a 24-hour recycle, so we look good uh, on the range for an attempt for tomorrow. However, we do need to clear this issue. So uh, launch team is going to be working very hard. Uh, we, we need to safe and secure the vehicle. We need to detank all the cryogenic uh, propellants on the Atlas V right now. That will take a few hours. And then we need to assess the situation. Is this a situation that uh, we can live with? Uh, was it uh, the range equipment that uh, was giving erroneous readings? Or was it truly the launch vehicle C-band transponder that w had an anomaly? Uh, if that's the case, then we may have to uh, uh, access the launch vehicle and change out that piece of hardware once we understand root cause. So uh, right now we're leaning forward. We're going to go ahead and set up for a launch attempt tomorrow. Uh, however, we'll know much more uh, a few hours from now once we have a time to look at the data. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, would the if we launch attempt tomorrow, what time would that be? If we uh, for tomorrow's launch attempt, it would be uh, the 25th of August, Saturday morning, and we would have the identical launch window as today. So that's 0407 a.m. Eastern Time with a 20-minute window. Okay. Well, thank you for stopping by and explaining the issue to us, Tim. Oh, you're welcome. I'm sorry it didn't work out for us today. Well, so we don't launch unless we're absolutely certain. So yes, this is one of those right. cases. Okay, well, thanks, Tim. You're welcome. This will conclude our live coverage of the launch attempt of the Atlas V vehicle. From the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center, this is Atlas Launch Control.